Dwight in Shining Dwight Armor. Armor. You told me about this. I wasn't that skeptical because you described it very well and accurately, I must say. It's <laughs> just ridiculous. <laughs> but fun. Well, so I it was come up in front of a YouTube video. There was an advertisement for it, like a trailer for mm-hmm. it. And I said, this is either A, going to be hilarious, or B, be one of the worst, campiest things like on TV ever. And it actually is somewhere in between there. It walks that line. It does, but it does it very well. <laughs> um, if you don't know, BYU TV mm-hmm. is uh, Brigham Young University has their own TV channel, or I guess streaming channel. Uh, I, I watched it on the Roku. Roku. Yes. Roku. Roku. So uh, it's a completely free channel with a, actually quite a lot of content on it, and all the content is also free, and there's no advertisements. Have you found advertisements? No advertisements. No I'm advertisements surprised, because like, usually you hit play and then you get an advert. HBO, you pay for that. Amazon and is doing it now, too. they promote their own shows at the front. Like, I'm already paying for this. You're selling me on something I've already bought. Like, Prime is doing, doing the same thing. It irritates me. Uh, but yeah, it's free channel, free shows. Yeah. Um, it's episodic. They're up to five, five. five episodes now. And so the, the basic story <laughs> is it's a Sleeping Beauty, right? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Like, Princess is asleep for a thousand years or whatever. And except Dwight is not the knight in shining armor. Not, he is not Prince Charming. He's just a, like, like a high school kind of a nerdy yeah. high school kid. And he stumbles upon her, trips, falls, lips Literally meet. Literally falls on her. Yeah, falls on her. <laughs> lips meet. A little she, bit of an overachiever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and... She wakes up and what is what was it called the the spell the, the champion, champion spell, spell. Yeah. and so whoever kisses the princess and wakes her up is champion of the realm. They literally had it posted on the wall. Yeah, there's a sign on the wall like whoever kisses the champion. <laughs> and, like, and at this point, she's been asleep for like a thousand years. Yeah. But not only her and her the entire kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone who was in the woods when the spell was cast, so they were still sleeping and buried under a thousand. So now years. they have all kinds of random bad guys to uh-huh. come out of the woodworks. Which, <laughs> they're villainous, like delightfully villainous. Like they could twirl a mustache, villainous. It's oh great. yeah, and everything is over the top. It's all silly, but to me, <laughs> this is the sitcom television of my youth that we don't get anymore. Yeah. Um, first of all, because it's BYU, there's like there's nothing objectionable. I don't think anybody could find in it. It's pretty wholesome. Um, I mean, even the violence is cartoonish. So if somebody attacks it's, somebody, it's you know, they jump on their back and yeah. bounce around or whatever. And so far, I think they've resolved nearly every situation or every situation without really hurting anybody. Yeah, without violence, but yeah. it's always in a funny way. Or at least some, not serious. Or a dumb way or something that's funny. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> and uh, so you get that kind of wholesomeness of those old TV shows yeah. that were you know, made for TV stuff. It's episodic. One comes out a week. It's Tuesdays, I believe. Uh, each episode comes out. And even though there's a building story, it's kind of... They're kind of... Yeah, like, it's, 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 each one has a like, little, like, 30 one, minute. One episode ended, like, with goblins ringing the door or something and then just that's gone that was last week we're not even talking about that anymore yeah just, just like i said just like an old just, sitcom yeah and it's just for a gag and so. it's fun and it's funny and it's campy and it's over the top but it's also kind of sweet it's kind of charming and if you grew up like we did in, in watching that stuff that's gone yeah like people don't do that anymore everything's a little rude and a little crass and, and that's okay i like rude and crass but <laughs> At the, same, time in a place for at the same time, it's kind of refreshing and it's kind of nice. <laughs> Nothing is dumbed down. It's for families. It's not necessarily for, for children. children. Right. But my wife and I enjoy it. Kaylee enjoys it. I like it. I like it. So My wife doesn't like it. What are you going to do? You can't please everybody. <laughs> it's too wholesome for her. I knew she wasn't going to like it. It didn't have enough evil in it. That's true. Even the evil's wholesome. It just didn't, it didn't work. Well, there was the one guy who was the cousin... Which, that was a funny revelation in and of itself, but yeah. The, the so 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 basically, <laughs> she's and she's not like the helpless princess of no, Sleeping Beauty. She she's like a spunky, warrior princess. Yeah, warrior she's princess. Princess Greta the besieged. Yeah, yeah. Princess Greta the besieged. And I love that she wears armor most of the time and yeah. needs it quite often, actually. And so all these like people <laughs> were trying to take over a kingdom. All these monsters and mm. evil villains, and they're all kind of there's the witch, the Pied Piper. Like they're, I love the Pied Piper. That was so <laughs> ridiculous. But there's uh, there's all these people coming to try to to take her down, take her off the throne, and they want her kingdom, and Dwight has to stop them each week, and mm. he's not really equipped to do it in the way that, you know, normally he would right. normally take down the bag. Thrash and destroy, but he's like, no, let's negotiate. Yeah. While also what? having to explain to everyone else that's living in modern times what is going on. Well, no, he's having to do it both. it. 
Because yeah. he's having to explain modern times why these people are walking around talking like they're doing. And he's making up excuses for them. But he's having to explain to them what on earth is going on because the the you know, the um, medieval people have no idea what all this modern stuff is and yeah. And so you get the fish out of water thing, which is always funny. It it's just great. Fish out of water is always great. Never better than when it's Baldrick, the, uh, <laughs> the princess's magician, yes. helper, assistant. Yeah. That's the character I would want to play. He's like, basically Matt. He is me. I would, like, I want to be... I was so amazed how much mileage they got out of a joke about a koi pond. <laughs> I not believe how far they took that joke. And it didn't get old. It got funnier every time they brought it up. And it just... So, the... <laughs> They go to the, he wants, uh, they build a moat around the house, so he wants vicious creatures to protect the house, except, you know, you can't get vicious Not creatures. Like a pet store. So they yeah, take him to a pet store, store and well, he asks the lady something, and she's like, oh, they get very, I need large. And, and she's aquatic. Like, and aquatic. And she's yeah. like, well, these will get really big. And he's like, perfect. Are they vicious? And she's like, they're pretty territorial. <laughs> Great. And he takes the koi and puts them in the moat, and he's like feeding them steak. <laughs> Raw chicken. <laughs> like, whatever else. It's like one of these days they will be vicious and they will protect our good yeah, no. Oh gosh. <laughs> and it does. It just keeps coming back to it over and over, like him feeding them and him trying to <laughs> trying to raise the killer koi and they're not to... I really liked the tower they built. Like the lookout <laughs> tower. It just it's appropriately like Renaissance. It just fits. <laughs> And I don't know, there is something very sweet, very wholesome about the whole thing, mm-hmm. but it's also hilarious. And it's goofy and it's silly, and it's like it's very low budget. Oh gosh. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to say that is a good thing, and it goes perfectly with the show. It works with what they're doing. Here there was there was a scene, I think it was either the first was episode the or Pied second. The Piper scene with the sword? Yes. Yes. Did you notice that? They're like oh, holding the sword the and throwing it. the biggest fat little yeah, sword The <laughs> sword is like an inch <laughs> thick. <laughs> it, it looks like a like they had done something to try to make it look more metallic, but they went to the dollar store somewhere and yeah, got the sword. Was, and it was bad. Which, but some of the costumes are really nice. Uh, the scenery is nice. Part of that was really bad because that was a sword we had seen several times already. Like they have an actual metal one that she'd been brandishing <laughs> for at least a whole episode or two, and then they've got that replica. <laughs> it was just well, so it was bad. within a foot and a half of someone. Right, and rubber. then they kept. Like messing with it, so that's probably why they like. Let's just keep it safe here and do them. But it it just made it funnier to me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like? So, all right, which is your favorite character from the show? I think it's pretty funny how Dwight is always like trying to fill everyone's task and has to bring along the princess everywhere. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. And the latest episode, they're actually shackled together, <laughs> <laughs> and and so. Uh, Dwight is trying to uh, plan and organize a school carnival and <laughs> work all of his booths while they're together, while they're on the lookout for uh, Bandit and his merry men. And uh, Baldrick is just riding the carousel the oh. entire time. Oh, when he broke Baldrick's uh, the scepter. Oh, the, staff, yeah. <laughs> the scepter gets broken. He just about cried and duct taped it back together and it doesn't work quite right. The angry speech about fixing it was so funny. <laughs> I, I, I don't even remember any of it, but it was just, he kept going on about all these exotic ways to repair and like make a new one. It's like, oh, oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that is something, now that you mentioned that, that I like about the show. They'll make the joke and then they'll up it one time and up it one more time. And every now and then just go ahead and push it just right there to the edge. <laughs> but it's not, that's not a bad thing. No, it's not, not old. It, it just escalates. It makes right. it funnier and funnier and funnier. <laughs> and usually because it's something silly. That's the reaction to it. Dwight. Yeah. Whenever, like, one of the villains meets him, they're like, him? And they always have that pudgy bottle of baby fat there. Yeah. yeah just all kinds of... The champion gets to choose the combat. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, flip that bottle over and make it land. Like... What? <laughs> yeah, it's always easy. it's always dumb, but it's always funny. <laughs> and I, I do like like the contrast, right? So Princess Greta is like this warrior princess, and her first thought is kill it with a sword. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, <laughs> was it uh, was it dirty dirty peasant or uh, harmless peasant? Harmless peasant. It was foe or harmless peasant. Was yeah. that it? Her, her yeah, like battle cry for like, <laughs> harmless peasant. Harmless peasant. peasant. 
Uh, but she's always like, like, kill it with a sword! And, and uh, Dwight's always like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, no, it's a nice place. You can't tell stuff here. <laughs> but she's like that with everything. It's like, hey, let me take you to the restaurant. Kill the waitress. No, no, no. <laughs> well, it made the Pied Piper bit particularly funny. And, and I kind of saw the joke coming, but it was still funny that they were like, all right, let's do battle. He's like, no, they can't help it. They're being controlled. You can't kill half the town. <laughs> So oh. it's it's always uh, it's always kind of irreverent. It's always silly, mm. but it's always been funny, kind of sweet and endearing. Yeah. And there's something. Again, it's so weird me saying this, but there's just something about the the not nasty of it, like the wholesomeness, the niceness, the kindness. Yeah. Not quite leave it to Beaver level, but it's in kind of. But it just <laughs> you know it's just refreshing yeah. and it, it feels different and. I don't know, maybe it'll get old after a while, but so far it has just <laughs> been riotous and I yeah. enjoy it. Um, it. I really wanted to do this video because I just randomly saw it and I yeah. got you guys to see it and you know, everybody except Thank for you. your wife. Everybody except for your wife liked it. Um, I don't know. I, and this, it's free. Like, go try it. Absolutely. Like I, and I'm doing this purely selfishly. Because I want them to make a season two and a season three. Yes. And BYU does have a history of stuff just kind of being yes. gone. Mm -hmm. And like people, I go watch this and it doesn't cost you anything. The BYU TV, like the app doesn't cost anything. I mean, it's just search for it, download it. Yeah. Super go find, easy to find. Uh, go out and play easy it. No commercials. Here. Yes. And you you can genuinely, I can't imagine a situation, well, I'm sure there is one, but I can't imagine a situation where anybody with kids could not go, hey, you're eight, let's watch this. Hey, you're you know, six, let's watch this. They may not understand everything that's going around, but they're going to laugh because it's their slapstick and there's mm -hmm. you know, silliness and like- But it's not dumb. It's not dumb, that is true. It's uh, not that's, painful, numbing silliness, it's fun silliness. No, yeah. It's not that stupid, uh, I hate that stupid comedy that kind of became prevalent there for a a long time, kind of the Will ferrell -y, and which I like some of the Will Ferrell stuff, but you know. I was going to ask if you meant like the Christmas Chronicles. <laughs> didn't watch the Christmas Chronicles. Not even once, guys, just don't do it. <laughs> so, Harry, you got anything else? You look better today, Harry. <laughs> Nothing? You don't want to say anything? Nope. <laughs> anything That's else? Right. No, I just, you know, it's fun. I, I like it. I laughed. I'm watching more. Uh, all I want to say is go watch it. Give it a try. Like, yeah. I, I think I really can't imagine. Like, you may not like it if it's not your thing, yeah. but I can't imagine anybody being offended by it. I can't imagine. And again, completely free. You didn't, can't lose. You, you waste a few minutes at the worst. Yeah. Also, if you have any interest in filmmaking at all, look at it and be inspired. These people yeah. are making something and it costs nothing to make. Right. I'm uh, impressed with what they do, with what they have. And look really at the scenery, look at the entertaining, the sets, the costumes, mm -hmm. the like, and, and it's so fun. Yeah. So it's delightful. That's the word, delightful. Delightful. And you'll know by the first episode whether it's you delightful. like it or not, because it's delightful. Oh, oh my god, his pun. I stole his pun. Oh. I stole his pun. Well, that's all our time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>